According to the Manufacturing Institute, nearly 3.5 million manufacturing jobs will need to be filled over the next decade. Due to a widening skills gap, 2 million of those jobs are expected to go unfilled. Baby boomer retirements, economic expansion, a negative image of the manufacturing industry among younger generations, and a gradual decline of technical education programs in the public education system all contribute to the problem. With a manufacturing labor force of over 80,000, Northeast Indiana is particularly vulnerable to not being able to fill crucial positions in the area economy. To address this problem, Northeast Indiana Works developed an innovative program teaching incumbent workers advanced manufacturing skills. It partners employers, economic development offices, and educational institutions to offer certification programs in welding, CNC machining, and industrial maintenance technology. Two such classes in maintenance technology were recently completed in Noble County, Indiana. What excites us the most about this is the skill that they create that helps them increase their pay scale by completion of this course. I want more experience to be able to troubleshoot better and faster uh, so that way we can decrease downtime more and that's a, that's a big driver um, for our OEE and things like that at work. The course was the result of a close collaboration of Northeast Indiana Works, the Noble County Economic Development Office, Ivy Tech Community College, and area employers. The six-month, 200-hour program included industrial safety, electricity, motor control, hydraulics, pneumatics, and programmable logic control. Coursework included classroom instruction, hands-on demonstrations, and online study. Big percentage of it's done online and at your own pace. Um, I, I like being able to work ahead and stay ahead. Um, a lot of things that maybe I already know, not that I know everything, um, but able to work at my own pace and not be held back and, and bored, I guess. What makes this program really tick is the real world experience our instructor brings into it. Uh, in this particular case, he was a master electrician. He was in industry for 30 years. He brings real life examples into the classroom. So our participants come in here, they get the theory, they get the book work, but they get hands on learning on how to do maintenance and how to do troubleshooting. We find that makes all the difference in the world. Early in the course, the classes were divided into teams. Their assignment was to design and construct an automated project. The concepts in motor control and PLC are utilized as students are required to build a device that operates in both manual and automated modes. What I've learned in this class from the PLC perspective is just phenomenal. I mean, never imagined that I'd actually be writing programs. Um, and it's really going to help in my job working with PLCs, troubleshooting, that kind of thing. At the end of the course, students presented their project. They were required to exhibit a list of exacting specifications and to explain the fabrication, operation, and technical aspects of all equipment selected for the project. They get as close to a real-life simulation of being out in the field when the pressure is on. They have to troubleshoot and fix and get their system back up and running. That's what their employers want. They want them to be able to get their hands on, effectively troubleshoot the problem with the equipment, and fix it and get the line back running. Time is money in manufacturing. From the employers we've spoken to so far, um, they are really excited about this training course and, and what um, their employees are finding and learning through this opportunity. Uh, we had one industry say, hey, if you offer another class, we've got one person in now, we'd like eight in the next time. There are some things that we work on on a daily basis they have never seen before. So going to class like this will definitely open their eyes and help them understand what we're trying to teach them as on-the-job training. Participants are also afforded the opportunity to test for two nationally recognized certifications. By passing these exams, they earn a valuable credential that demonstrates their knowledge to their employer. It impacts the student by giving them confidence, helping them uh, achieve more success in the workplace, maybe a pay raise uh, as well. Um, if that happens, the home is, what, uh, is impacted by more spendable income and the community is impact or the company is impacted by the skill sets that have been added to their workforce. The future will undoubtedly see continuing challenges in the labor markets, especially for skilled workers. 
programs like this have already begun making an impact in addressing this situation. It is also a prime example of what can be accomplished when government entities, economic development agencies, employers, and educators partner together. Plans to continue with this and similar programs are in place and coming to fruition. Organizations and communities that support these programs will most certainly realize the benefits of developing an increasingly skilled workforce for many years to come.